We get asked a lot how to decode a, a GS1-128 barcode. So in less than 60 seconds, I intend to show you how. Here's some examples of GS1 barcodes. They can come in all sizes and widths. They are segment barcode, which means they consist of different segments which tell you different information about the product. In order to be able to know what segments are contained in your barcode, you're going to need to have a list of the application identifiers from GS1. We've provided a link to that list below this video. With your list printed out, you can go into your warehouse and you can take a look at some of the, some of the uh, barcodes that are there. Most of them will have an 01 application identifier at the beginning. Sometimes this little application identifier has brackets around it and sometimes it just has a space. Basically after the 01, you'll see on here is the global trade identification number. Basically it contains the UPC of the item. Other segments are optionally also included in the barcodes. There's segments, for instance, as 15, here's segment 11. They tell you different information. You, tra you take your, your handy list here, you go around, and you take a look. If it's got a section 10, that's a lot number. If it's got a section 15, that's a best before date. So now you can know exactly what's contained in the barcodes in your warehouse. 